guys, I'm Laura Vitale and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen I want to share with you my take on the Crepe Suzette. Now, Crepe Suzette, it's a really retro recipe which I love and they're basically crepes in a like orange butter sauce. They're delicious, uh, delicious and if you make the crepes ahead of time, which I tend to do, my brother-in-law loves this recipe, then it's, they're really easy to pull together um, after dinner when you have people coming over the last minute, you know, because you want to make the sauce fresh the last minute. So make the crepes earlier, finish them all together like five minutes and you're 10 minutes tops and you're done and they're just so fabulous. Let's make the crepes. For this recipe, all you need is flour, sugar, salt, milk, eggs, butter. That's all you need to make the crepes. You make them, you make the batter in a blender and then everything else just happens in the same skillet that you cook the grapes, the grapes, the crepes in, so it's, they're fabulous. I'm very excited about this because these are one of my favorite things that I don't make often at all, so I'm pumped. I'm adding just everything literally in a blender, nice high power blender. I'm going to pop this on, turn it on, and let it go for about a minute. Once I've done that, I'm gonna let the batter rest for like 10 minutes. And in the meantime, I'll gather my ingredients for the sauce, but all I'm gonna do now is turn this on, let it go. All right, so I started just making my crepes already. My batter was resting for about 10 minutes. And making crepes, as you'll see, I won't be looking at you very much, but I want you to look here. You have to move really, really quickly. I've got a nonstick 10 inch skillet here and you kind of add a quarter cup of your batter and it will, um, the amount of batter you need to add will, that's a little bit wonky because I'm, you know, uh, will change depending on the size of pan that you're using. So for me, I always use a 10 inch nonstick skillet. I don't actually ever need to butter this type of skillet, but um, if your skillet maybe needs like a little bit of butter or whatever, just have a stick handy and rub the pan every couple times if you have to, every uh, few crepes if you have to, um, but just avoid adding too much fat, too much butter, because you don't want to like sizzle these in a lot of fat, you know what I mean? And they cook, as you can see, in seconds. So you just kind of have to keep it moving. I have the heat on medium. I don't have it any higher and I don't want it any lower because I do like a little color on my crepes. I don't want them to be completely blonde. And this goes so much quicker when I'm not distracted by you. <laughs> and they go, and they look a whole lot better, but look how pretty, right? They're pliable, they're thin, they're perfect. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep making my crepes. I'm almost done. I have everything, this one's a little bit wonky, but it's fine. I have everything ready for my sauce. So once these come out, I'm able to make my sauce and it's really easy and simple. Um, I know that a lot of places, if you go to a restaurant, they will serve these to you and they'll make the sauce and then add the crepes back into the pan and they'll flambe it and it's like fabulous and so cool. I'm not gonna do that because I don't have enough space in my skillet to do that without them just getting overlapping too much. But I, once I'm done, I'll show you how to make the sauce, obviously. Okay, all right, so time to make the sauce. The sauce is very, very easy. You take butter and you take sugar. It's like a buttery orange, oh, it's so good. And what you're gonna do is you're going to melt these two together. Uh, basically, you're gonna cook it until the sugar melts, right? I know I look like I'm crazy, but trust me when I tell you, this works so well. And by the way, I did wanna clear, <laughs> cause Joe said, um, you might wanna clear that when you said being interrupted by you, I, I don't mean like in a sense of like, why are you here? I meant it as, I gotta explain something to you, which means my eyes are here, and when you're making crepes, your eyes gotta be here. You gotta think fast, you gotta work fast, because they're so thin that if you don't start swirling your pan as soon as the batter goes in, and then it sets in one place, do you know what I mean? So we're just gonna cook these together in medium heat until the sugar dissolves and the butter is fully melted, and then what we have here, because the sauce takes four ingredients, we've got the zest and juice of two oranges. Please don't use orange juice, like a bottle of orange juice or a canned orange juice, it does not taste the same and you might as well just not make it at all. And then, which is optional, the next part is a little bit of orange liqueur. So you need like a Cointreau or a triple sec. I've got triple sec here, uh, so I like my margarita. So I've got triple sec here, so that's what I'm gonna be adding, uh, but you don't have to add that. I'm just gonna let this go for a few more seconds. Add the orange, mine has a little bit of pulp in it, so I'm just gonna try and get that out. 
And then you're just going to cook this for a couple of minutes. You just want the sauce to reduce and just sort of like it thick and glossy and gorgeous. And in the meantime, I'm going to take my crepes and I'm going to fold them into triangles like a so. How pretty. And I'm going to just arrange them on a pretty little platter. That is lovely. It's really thick and syrup-like. And now we're just going to add our liquor. And we're going to let this cook for a couple minutes. You can flambe it at this point. I'm not going to. I don't trust myself. I let my hair on fire again. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, a while back I told you the story of one of Joe and I's first dates where I set my hair on fire at the dinner table at a restaurant, thanks to a candle. So, I'm going to stay away from fire. <laughs> Listen, it is what it is. This just needs to cook for like one or two more minutes and then we drown up the crepes in this luscious goodness. And that's done. It smells so good. So good. So you could do the crepes, like I said, way ahead of time and then right before you're ready to serve, go ahead and make the sauce, serve it with some ice cream. I don't know if that's traditional or not, but that's how I like it. Um, and now it's going to seem excessive, but you know, this is very important that you sort of like really coat the crepes heavily in the sauce and you're supposed to like you know, do the whole thing, going under, making sure every bit of the crepe is covered. Trust me, it's delish. And now listen, we just serve. When you do serve this at your table, make sure that you put some orange slices. I'm gonna go for this one because it's not very pretty. It was one of the first ones, so nobody will know. Um, you know, serve it with some fresh orange slices, a little bit of ice cream. You don't even know how good this is, but you will fall in love. Oh, oh, that is a delight. It does need some ice cream now. LauraInTheKitchen.com has the recipe ready for you. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. Make yourself a crepe Suzette. I'll see you next time.